And um, I think when we talk about or when we reflect on what is a Franciscan education, I think the obvious, you know, the obvious context is is that, you know, we um, we 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 try to educate from a Franciscan perspective, if you will, um, you know, and and you know, educate come comes from the, you know, the Latin words to lead out of or to lead into, and so I think you know, a Franciscan education, very gen very generally speaking, is is to try and and help all of us faculty, uh, students as well, um, to, 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 you know, to be led into the world today with the values and the understandings and the worldview that, that emerge out of our Franci the Franciscan tradition. And the Franciscan tradition, of course, goes, goes back to uh, St. Francis and Claire of Assisi in the 13th century. And, um, and, and it, it is, you know, primarily their, their way of life, their example that has set the foundation for this, this, uh, this tradition. And so elements, you know, some of the elements that would be important to the tradition and therefore to uh, a Franciscan education would be, as you already mentioned, Gigi, relationship. Um, the, the reality that, you know, that we are all brothers and sisters, um, you know, created by God, all equal in God's sight, uh, means that whatever we do has to, in a sense, be accomplished from that, that space of, of brotherhood and sisterhood, of relationship, of community. So, so you know, Franci a Franciscan education would 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 put a lot of value on the communal dimension of of study and research and teaching. Um, it's something that we pursue together. It's not something that that I, as a faculty member, give to you. It's something that you know that we share with each other in a sense. And you know, I've said this throughout my whole you know teaching life. I'm sure I learn much more from the students than the students learn from me in the course of any semester. You know, they've, it's enriched my life and, and my experience of being a Franciscan, um, you know, a, a teacher, but especially just a Franciscan brother who tries to, you know, tries to live in a, um, in an, in a way that, you know, uh, helps others make their way in this world. So, so that communal dimension, of course, is very, is very important and the foundation of it. Um, the other the other dimension I think of a Franciscan education is that it, it really values the importance of history, not just the, the sense of history in the sense of, you know, names and dates and places this happened then, but history in the sense that, you know, that it, it, it begins with experience. Everything begins with our human experience. Um, you know, we as Christians believe that, you know, this this world that we live in is a gift of God. And so our experience of that world of creation is really the starting point. And the way we live in it with one another becomes sort of the, the, the matter or the subject matter of, of theological reflection. Um, theology is sort of, you know, you know, saying something about God based, it's reflection based on our experience. And so, um, you know, the, the, the Franciscan education would emphasize the importance of of our of everyone's experience that you know of this world and that's that's where we begin we we try to begin there and and re then reflect on that experience and then theology would say some things about that experience but the purpose of it is to return to life to return to history and to um and to try to do something basically to make this world a better place um history you know doesn't provide direct answers to our questions today but it certainly provides resources to help us answer our questions today. And so going back to that, that, that experience, you know, out of which theology emerges and which is the fuel of any kind of, of theological or Franciscan education is, is really very important. And, and I think a third dimension would be that one of the, one of the characteristics of the, of the Franciscan tradition, brotherhood and sisterhood, is paying attention, especially to those who have been left out or neglected, or or who who have you know who haven't been given a chance basically to um, uh, you know to to flourish in in our world or our society. And so you know so a Franciscan education values the experience of of the poor, of the marginalized, not only as subject matter, uh, but as um, as an invitation to to use our education 
to help better their lives in whatever way we can do that, whatever, you know, whatever our particular gifts and experiences are to use those in a way that, that can help um, make the world uh, the place that God intended it to be by making sure that there's space for everyone. Um, so I think for me, those are the three sort of central pillars of Franciscan education, you know, relationship, um, history in the sense of experience and the importance of everyone's experience. And, and, and I think everybody has to begin with that and use that experience to unlock, unlock the treasures of past, if you will. And then thirdly, especially paying attention to those who've been neglected or left out, uh, especially in terms of any kind of service that we might want to do or, or be preparing ourselves to do. So that, at least that those are some, not, not all, but some dimensions, I think, of a Franciscan education. And, and I think we, we certainly value those here at FST. You know, in terms of, of, of how how we um, we try to live as a as a, a community of learners.